Uh, after what happened in Arizona when a uh, civil rights era law came back and is now the law of the land there, the former president, Donald Trump, said that that state law goes too far. The state, uh, the law in your state it is similar. It's uh, an abortion ban, mm -hmm. including areas where uh, a woman is raped or in, in times of incest. So do you believe that this, the law in your state goes too far, just as he said about Arizona? Are you with him on that, or do you think that he's wrong? You know, it's interesting because the law in my state was passed decades before I ever became governor. It was a trigger law that said when Roe v. Wade became overturned, that this would be the law that would go into place. Uh, so that may be a topic that will continue to be discussed in South Dakota. Our law today allows an exception to save the life of the mother. Uh, but the people in South Dakota will decide what their laws look like. What do you think and it should look like? I can have an opinion and I can I can weigh forward and, and I can look at the science and what we've learned about babies in the womb and, and if believe that we should protect life, but I think that our law today is what South Dakota wants, and they'll continue to have that debate, and I'll continue to follow through on my role, which is to make sure the will of the people is enforced. Do you think there should be exceptions for rape and incest, for example? And I think that every state's going to look different. That's what do what's you different, think? Dana, is that I've constantly looked and we rely in South Dakota on the fact that I'm pro-life and we have a law that says that there is an exception for the life of the mother. And I just don't believe a tragedy should perpetuate another tragedy. I believe in taking care of mothers that are in a crisis situation and that we should be locking alongside them, giving them all the information and the best information they can make uh, before they have to be put in a situation where an abortion is the only option that they have. So I'll continue to do that and love mothers and families through these situations, recognizing that that they are often challenging and um, scary. And many times they're feeling very alone. And in South Dakota, I hope that that's never our story.